actually been wanting to go for a few years. I heard about it like online, right? And I've been wanting to go, but no one would be willing to take me and my family until this year. I'm actually really happy that they offer this because it makes me feel more like included in something, like a group that I can like identify with. Like I'm not as lonely as I think I would if this didn't exist. I am here at Pride to let everyone know about the transgender community. We are the statewide transgender organization and we have a helpline and we have groups all over and our website is transgendermichigan.org and we are here for you. By the vendor I'm really proud to be here. A lot of people often forget about trans and we founded our organization to make sure everyone remembers us. Trans people are like getting other people and we love all people and we love you. I am here with the Free Mom Hugs organization. The national organization was begun in Oklahoma and as of January they started chapters for every state and um, I signed up to be one of the chapter leaders for the state of Michigan. So I am here coordinating this group at Grand Rapids Pride today. I actually have a son that is gay. Um, he's college, he will be a junior in college this year. That is, he's my reason for signing up to do this. But I also have a lot of friends in the gay community and in the community in general. My experience with doing free mom hugs has been that the outpouring of support has been tremendous. We have um, our Facebook page, we have a Free Mom Hugs Michigan Facebook page. We have over 3,500 likes and followers. We had almost 400 moms sign up who want to be here today. We, are, we have groups attending all of the prides that, that we are aware of in Michigan. We will be at Holland next week. We have a group in Lansing today. We had Kalamazoo and Detroit last week. So there's pretty much, this is Pride Month, so it's active. So this is, yeah. It's been great though. So I've met all kinds of people and it's, it's been fun. The national organization has been in existence for a couple of years. The originator of her name is Sarah Cunningham. And she started it. She had a son, his son who came out the first day and um, she didn't deal with it very well at first. And then she did some research and became accepting and affirming and decided that she was just, you know, this was needed. And it is frankly needed. It's very important. I mean, I myself, just in Grand Rapids, have met kids who've been kicked out of their homes and, you know, kids who've been rejected by their family. There, there are, are a shocking amount of them still that aren't accepted today. So that's why we do this. I, I also would like to add, I'm also a member of the West Michigan Gay Men's Chorus, which sounds really funny. And yes, I, I'm a straight female member of the West Michigan Gay Men's Chorus, and they are all pretty much my age or older, not all of them, but a great majority of them, and they, they need this too. They love that this is happening um, now. You know, they wish. You know, they a lot of them. You know, don't have never had acceptance from.